So you might be wondering who is this course for? Well, everyone essentially. TensorFlow.js users are all around the world from ages seven to 70, with just as varied professional backgrounds from artists to software engineers. Learning machine learning in JavaScript can be useful to anyone. Maybe you've already been overwhelmed by other courses you've tried that focus more on the mathematical proofs than actually enabling you to use those new technologies for real world applications. Well here, no prior knowledge of machine learning or advanced mathematics is assumed to take this course. You'll learn the essential bits you need to know when you need to know them as you go along in order to be productive and give you the high level understanding that you need to appreciate what's going on behind the scenes. This course aims to be the missing manual for JavaScript developers who do not have a formal background in machine learning and who are keen to learn how they can use and apply it. If you're looking for a low level mathematical understanding of machine learning, there are plenty of other courses that cover these topics. This course will focus on enabling you to bring your creative ideas to life as fast as possible in your work to give you the confidence you need to then go further in this industry. Now this course is designed to be taken by anyone with a basic working knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, who's looking to understand machine learning in their field. So maybe you're a web engineer looking to see how machine learning can be applied to the company's products or services. This is for you. Or maybe you're a designer or creative technologist looking to use machine learning for innovative or artistic use cases and are familiar with modern web technologies. This is for you too. Or maybe you've got some experience with machine learning, but looking to expand your knowledge so you can deploy your models with the reach and scale of the web. There's something for you too. Whatever your background, if you're looking to apply AI or use machine learning in your next web application, but unsure where to begin, then this course will walk you through that process step-by-step step, through which you can move at your own pace based on your prior background and experience. In a nutshell, this course aims to educate and inspire and enable you to rapidly create your next machine learning powered idea in this fast growing industry while providing you with a foundation to understand the field and confidence to explore the industry further. So now let's hear from our amazing global community of people who are just like you, but already using TensorFlow.js. From web engineers, creative technologists, artists, to more experienced ML researchers, all types of users are embracing TensorFlow.js to solve real world problems that they're facing. So let's check them out. I'm a student at the University of Manchester and I've developed Yoga AI. I've basically classified six main poses. So as you can see, if you hold the mountain pose for 10 seconds, the counter starts going down. And if it notices you're not doing the pose, it stops. And then once it detects another pose and if it's wrong, the timer restarts. I use uh, 3GS, which is a JavaScript library, which allows you to visualize a 3D object I track the face of the user with uh, a pre-trained face tracking model in TensorFlow.js. It moves as I move, mm -hmm. so it works left or right or up and down. That really pops out of the screen. That's amazing. It's so realistic. What we created was a pl sports platform that helped teams, uh, amateur teams such as myself, to access sports performance data and statistics easily and affordably. So we created a platform that enables both coaches and players to use artificial intelligence and TensorFlow models to generate the performance statistics they need to understand why are they winning games or not winning games and um, how can they improve their performance, whether it's from a conditioning or from a skills perspective. And that is in a nutshell is team sports. What you're seeing is a very short looping video clip uh -huh. of a martial artist doing his routine. And what I'm doing is using PoseNet to extract the, the pose of the different body parts and extruding it in both time and space in augmented reality so that you get cool. the 3D <laughs> form slash visualization. This project was made as a sort of demonstrator project to show um, how can we make autoencoders, how can we use them in TensorFlow.js. We're sampling not um, digits, the MNIST data, but um, a different data set, the Celeb A data set, which is a really great data set of celebrity faces. We try to see how could we 
mega website that you could just interact with with just your hands. So you need to do like a drag gesture to move things around and you need to do uh, like hover your hand over an object to um, to kind of select it. And, yeah, and then spread your fingers to to click it. So TensorFlow.js, I realized that all the building blocks were in place now and I could actually build an end-to-end -end system that would solve Sudoku puzzles in your browser. And you can see it's uh, it's scanning the puzzle and solving it as we scan over the images in the newspaper. So a couple of months ago, we open sourced this project called Pose Animator that allow you to use your body to animate uh, your SVG characters. SVG, as it is, uh, still requires quite a bit of design expertise to create, but uh, we want to lower the bar even further so that uh, anyone can uh, create a character and animate them. Recently, I've been exploring using TensorFlow JS with uh, imagery. If you, if you think about looking at a map and you see the, uh, it's almost like a photo draped across the world. So that's satellite imagery. So we've been looking at using satellite as well as drone and UAV imagery to recognize objects. And uh, fundamentally, uh, if we look at the TensorFlow JS sample website, um, you know we've got the the webcam sample where you can show an object and it can show show back what that is. You can do the yeah. same techniques with uh, imagery in GIS. Okay. As you can probably tell, I'm a huge fan of VTubers, um, which is why I'm currently in this form. I've been working on a lot of VTuber web apps that allow you to do real-time motion capture directly in the browser. I was thinking, uh, okay, and could we do this uh, in JavaScript using TensorFlow.js? And uh, uh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. It works. Yeah. In the terminal, we start the driving script, which uses the model we have built to drive a car. And you can see it, it drives. It knows uh, only two commands. The positive value is turn right and the negative value is turn left. And the car drives pretty well. So if you're excited by the demos you just saw, it's time to head on over to the next video that will explain the key concepts you're about to learn. <laughs>